Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can take a singly linked list and how we can move the tail node to the head of the list. So for example, if we have a linked list that looks something like this with nodes A, B, C, D, what we want to do is we want to move the tail of that list, in this case D, and we want to make that the head of the list. So the list that we want to get out of this function is something that looks like this for this example, D, A, B, C, where now D was the tail, but it's now the head of the list. So I've gone ahead and created a linked list object here, and I populated it just as we saw in the example with this ABCD list. So this is uh, a linked list object that has a similar structure to this right here. And then I have a call to print list, which will print out ABCD. We'll fill in this function, which is called not move head to tail, but move uh, tail to head. Let me switch it around. So move tail to head. And then we'll print a new line, and then we'll print the list after we've moved the uh, tail of the list to the head. So we should see A, B, C, D, and then we should see a new line, and then we should see this D, A, B, C list for this example. So let's think about how we can actually do this. So what we're going to actually do to solve this problem is we're going to have two pointers. So one is going to keep track of the last node in the list. So we'll iterate through the list and keep track of where the last node is once we hit it. So it's the one that's going to be right before null. And then we're also going to keep track of the second to last node as well, because we need to shift around these arrows, these pointers rather, these arrows right here in the proper way, so that way we can actually make, in this case, D be the head of the list. So what does that really involve? Well, that involves changing the next pointer of D. So D, really I didn't write this, but D points to null. And in this list, it's sort of implicit, this also points to null. So D, right now the next pointer points to null. What we need to do if we want to make it the head of the list is say, okay, don't point to null, point to the head of the list, so point to A instead. So that's what is going on here, so D is pointing to A. The next pointer of D is pointing to A. And what we also want to do is we want to say, okay, now C can't be pointing to D anymore, otherwise we'll have a circular list. What we want to do is we want to update the next pointer of C to point to null. So just imagine that D is you know, no longer in the position that it is here. We want to say that C's next pointer points to null. So that's why we want to keep track of the last node and also the second to last node as well. So we can move the arrow around in the appropriate way. So what we're going to do is we're going to define two pointers. Let's call it last, which will be eventually equal to the last node in the list. We'll set that initially equal to the head. And then second to last, we'll have this initially be set to none. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through the list, iterate through the list one by one. And what we're going to do is we're going to say while last.next is not none. So essentially while the next of this thing is not none, then we're going to keep going through the list. So for instance, if we're here, the next node of this is not none, we keep going. In this case, we're at this node here, the next one is none. So basically, this will be the last node, and then this one will be the second to last node. So the way that we'll update is we'll say second to last node is equal to last, and then we'll just move the last node through the list. So we'll say last is equal to last dot next. So let's actually just go ahead and print out the data elements at these nodes to verify that we've actually gotten the right uh, nodes. So let's print out second to last dot data, and then let's also print out uh, last dot data. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this function, I'm going to comment out these print statements so we don't see all this extra output, and I'm just going to call this function and print so we see the data elements of the nodes that we've captured at the end of this. I'm going to write that and give it a run. So indeed we have the second to last node is the node with data element C and the last node is the one with data element D. So, so we've got the right nodes. Now we need to reorient the arrows or the pointers of those nodes in such a way that makes it uh, print out this list down here. So the way that we do that, remember, what we need to do is we need to say, okay, this last node no longer points to null. Basically, this last node, the next pointer of this node right here, will instead point to the head of the list. So we'll move it to point to A. So let's go ahead and do that. So the way we do that is we say last.next is equal to the head of the list, right? So that's that part of it. So then what we want to do is we need to change around where this guy is pointing to, because this guy is now pointing to D, but D is at the front of the list. We don't want it to point to D, otherwise we're going to get a circular list. So what we want to do is we want to say, okay, 
the C, the next pointer of C should be pointed to null because now C is the last node of the list. So it's going to give us something like this where the next pointer of C points to null. So we'll say second to last dot next is equal to none. So now that's pointing to null. And then what we're going to do is we need to update the head of the list. So before in this list here, we had this node right here was the head. And, and at this point with those two lines that we have after the loop, we have this structure, but A, the node that stores A is still the head of the list. In order for us to make sure that this is actually the head of the list, we need to update it and tell it that this is now the head. So what we can do there is we can say self.head is equal to last. And that should give us the proper list. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down here, I'm going to comment out these print statements. So again, what this will do, this will print out the initial list, this will move the tail to the head presumably, print out a new line, and then we'll print the new list. Let's go ahead and write that and run it. So what we see here is we see ABCD, which is the original list, and then DABC, which is what we're after. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.